What's up fish tank people, Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you with a video about what is inside the binder that the lady who lives across from the greenhouse that I'm trying to buy handed me. Had an awesome comment the other day uh, in the video about the uh, greenhouse. Guy said every superhero has a villain. I don't think I'm a superhero. I wake up every day and I have written down to ask to write myself uh, an affirmation. It says if I could have any job in the world, what would it be? I have the perfect job for me and I go on with this elaborate long uh, affirmation confirming what I'm doing to keep me motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. And someone is trying to get in the way of that. And today I'm going to show you what's up in the black binder handed to me by the neighbor across the street. Okay, so first things first, I want to put you all in the mental state that I'm in um, when I'm driving back from the greenhouse when this binder is handed to me. Again, I'm sitting next to my father-in-law. Uh, my father-in-law is sitting there and he's going and flipping through it while I'm driving my wife's wonderful Toyota Sienna minivan. I want to make a comparison uh, when I was in like seventh grade. I had like a, I, I had a guy that was a great, a year above me who was an awesome wrestler and he beat the crap out of me every day in practice. Just, just annihilated me. Pin, Bo Bennett, love you buddy. I'd kill him now because I'm way bigger than him. But anyway, back in the day he used to just mop the mat up with me. And then I got good and I had uh, four wins in a row and then on my fifth match I lost to a kid named Jeremy Carroll and I went in the basement of Central Middle School and I cried. Like, like a baby I cried. And I had this just like horrible feeling because I couldn't, I didn't beat that kid. And I'm telling you that, and that's a deep, deep thing with me because this is like kind of how I felt when I got handed this binder. Okay, I'm sitting here, I'm driving. You gotta understand, folks. I've been like, I, I live my dream, right? Like, I'm, I'm pursuing something that I love as a passion, and I'm spitting it into a camera, and like, I get to do what I love for a living, and I choose to do that, and I struggle through to do that. So I have like a lot of passion and emotion, which is part of the reason you're probably watching me. So I have all this passion, I have all this emotion, and then I've been oozing over this deal and over this greenhouse and fantasizing. Okay, you have no idea. You have, you have no idea, you have no idea the amount of hours I put into imagining what Dusty who loves to grow plants could do in a 36 foot wide by 180 foot long greenhouse with space to grow. You don't have any idea, okay? I've looked at nurseries all over Europe. You can see this, this is Aquanova. I've checked out other nurseries. I've researched everything, where they are, what they're doing, how they're doing it, okay? Like I'm trying to take over the game. All right, I'm trying to do that. So I have this big, huge vision of what I am trying to do and and I've already done all the steps to do it. So I've already gone through some red tape. I've already climbed through some stuff. Then I get handed this right here. So this is a monster book. Um, you all aren't gonna sit through the entire reading of this and quite frankly, I don't wanna read it all the way through because it'll make my heart hurt. But I am going to give you the abbreviated version of it uh, just to show you. This is a revocational hearing for uh, 7524 Old Richmond Road. This is the request to get the hearing to remove the conditional use. I want to explain what the conditional use again is because it's vitally important to what's going on in this entire massive binder. And luckily, this binder right here is actually uh, labeled and tabbed so everyone can see where to go here. So we're gonna go here, this tab opens right here to the major section, okay? I'm going to let you all read this with me here. A 20 foot wide landscaping easement. Oh, just to back up. This is the agricultural rural zone for Fayette County. This is all public knowledge, like anybody can go and find this, okay? This is a conditional use permitted only with the board of adjustments approval. Okay, so somebody had to get this conditional use approved. Um, horse racing, because we're in uh, KY, it's nothing to do with that. Commercial greenhouse, okay? So they had to like, they had to make this. This was made uh, to make it happen for this guy. A 20 foot wide landscape easement shall be provided around the building, parking areas, and the perimeter of tract of land containing one tree per 30 feet length of fraction thereof, plus a continuous six foot high planting hedge fence, wall, or earth mound. Planting shall be both deciduous and non-deciduous. A detailed site plan showing screening shall be provided. Performance bond letter credit shall be posted with the division of building inspection. In other words, got to be inspected to ensure completion of the screening. New screening shall not be required or planted when existing screening is substantially similar to screening mentioned above. 
No structure shall be within 300 feet of existing residential structure. There should be no outdoor display or sale of fungicides, insecticides, chemicals, peat moss, or hummus. No commercial greenhouse shall be located within a floodplain. The commercial greenhouse shall be located where easily accessible by artillery roads. All roads on the site should be sufficient widths and constructed to safety handling of all sizes trucks. The board shall review the location of access points to ensure that no traffic hazards are created. All driveways or parking areas shall be paved, sealed to prevent dust. This, my friends, is what the conditional use was and is for a greenhouse in this area. Okay, this has been predetermined. All of these criteria need to be met in order to operate a business out of this location. This is very important to what I have going on. So this goes back to 2006 when the uh, current owners of the greenhouse constructed this. They had to go through the conditional use uh, process permit thing. Basically everything that I'm having to go through, they had to do. And here is some of that documentation right here. They had to go through a site plan. Um, this was in the book. This is helpful. And this was done in 2006. I would like to point out, I think this is important. The person who lives nearby this property, who will remain nameless, purchased their home in 2011. This greenhouse was constructed in 2006. Purchased their home in 2011. This greenhouse was constructed in 2006. This is all going on here. They have to do a site plan. So look, they were gonna do a bunch of landscaping out here. They've got the proposed nursery. Um, there's, there's the actual greenhouse. They say it's uh, 35 by 155. I don't know if that's 30, one, 35 by 135. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, this is the Board of Adjustment site plan. It's approved. You can see the date. It's approved there. And then we've got um, application for encroachment permit. I'm not sure what that's for. Then we've got the actual property right here. Is some, some notes or whatever. And then there's uh, building permits as well. Okay, so this is part of the recommendation for approval made on the following conditions. Uh, that one of them is all, and then I have to go through this whole thing as well. Uh, all necessary permits shall be obtained by the division building of inspection. Again, it goes through access to the driveway, the stuff I just rattled off. But this is the recommendation uh, back in 2006 by the uh, adjustments committee or, or planning and zoning here in Fayette County. So uh, you have to go through and you get all the proper permits. Well, here's a permit right here. That's uh, 2006, and uh, let's see here, verifying engineered for snow loads. It's gotta have 20 uh, pounds, uh, pounds per foot of snow. Uh, that's actually really, really helpful to know for my own uh, things I've got going on here. And then I've got uh, this commercial permit right here, and then it says the contractor of uh, Godakva building, not sure uh, who they are. We're gonna find out more about them. But uh, you gotta have all the permits in place here. Okay, well let's, uh, let's dig into this though. What's, uh, what's up with this uh, building contractor right here? Let's find out why this person is in here and uh, what the people across the street are trying to figure out about this person. Okay, so now we're looking at the Gadakva building group. This gets really hairy here. Um, so she's gonna go, work, the individual is gonna go look for uh, what's up with the Gadakva building group. This is all uh, one of the, just one of the chapters here. Uh, this group is indicated on the commercial permit for the greenhouse uh, being the contract for the project. This is who built the greenhouse originally. However, the LFUCG indicates that the Gadakva building group did not pull any permits 26, uh, 06, 07, or 08. The address of the commercial permit is a residential address in Nicholasville, Jesmond County. Building inspector says the Gadakva building group never registered with their offices. All businesses, addresses, members associated with this Gadakva building listed in Cary Secretary of State are residents of Fayette and Jesmond counties. Okay, so the individual is looking up who originally built this structure. They're also going after the manufacturer of the structure right here. Good old Moody Greenhouse is right here. Uh, C attached company was the greenhouse materials, but there's no record of who actually assembled it. The correspondence, their correspondence with, uh, excuse me, Lundy Greenhouses is not, not licensed electrician or plumber. Um, she's saying basically without proper building permits and required uh, inspections having been performed, there's no way to determine the quality or safety of the existing structure. 
it's been standing there for 10 years. But anyway, so they go on and uh, once she wants, they want verification of this stuff. So here comes the, uh, one of the letters. There's all kinds of stuff in here that I can't show you, but uh, here's one of the letters from Lundy Greenhouses here. And this is from the uh, person that built it, trying to keep everybody's uh, name away. Uh, company is called Envirosod. I don't know their business status. The structure is galvanized steel. It's burly. SL series. Um, uh, we do work with engineers to provide stamp plans. We sold the structure materials. They do offer labor, but I'm not sure uh, if the project was built by somebody else. They offer labor. Uh, we are not licensed to do electric or plumbing, so we exclude this. We did supply two Modine heaters. They're still sitting there to supply and connect the gas lines. I see your email. Looks like Eastern Kentucky address. We've done several structures for UK and Lexington and several high schools in Kentucky. If you need a reference, I can help you. Thank you, uh, Ludie Greenhouses. Okay. This individual is going after the manufacturer of the greenhouse and the builder to see how their permits went down five years before they purchased their property across the street. All right, so this is from uh, 2015. This is the reply back from LFUCG to this person, names being covered up. Uh, Godocto Building Group did not pull any permits in Fayette County for the years 2006, 2007, 2008. Their contractor uh, registration was current all three of those years. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, so the contractor did not pull permits to build this greenhouse. All right, here comes more. Now we go over to where the Gadakva group who uh, allegedly constructed this greenhouse uh, is residing, and that is in Jesmond County. Here we go. It says, uh, Jesmond County does not issue contractor permits. However, we do register companies doing business in Jesmond County for net profit and occupational licenses. We have never had Gadakva Building Group registered with our office. Godakva would be required to register with Fayette County if they were doing business there. This is not good. I do want to point out some of the things that are cool that I am kind of learning about greenhouses and, and how they're supposed to be constructed here in Fayette County. Excuse me, one of those things is this. Um, it states, the code states that a uh, uh, greenhouses shall be designed for a minimum roof live load of 10 pounds per square foot. We have 17 on our stamp plans. He's also Provided calculations uh, indicating that our snow and wind requirements have easily been met. So this whole time I am learning some stuff, uh, albeit learning it the hard way by getting punched in the mouth, there are, is some valuable nuggets being pulled out of here on uh, what's required for a greenhouse here in my county. All right, so I'm really struggling to try to uh, make this entertaining and enlightening and informative for you all because this is really just heavy, thick, dry stuff. So I'm going to cut to the chase of it here. Um, this is tab one. Uh, these are all letters formally requesting revocation hearing before the Board of Adjustments. So these are uh, people trying to get this guy's conditional use revoked. There's a letter from the Neighborhood Association, President supporting Reddit, and there's a letter of support for the revocation hearing right here. They got an attorney involved up here. They got that's in January 9th saying, hey, we'd like to uh, get this this board, the old, this is good old ORR, the ORR, Old Richmond Road Association here. Granted conditional use, we're trying to get it revoked. We're attorneys, attorneys speak, blah, blah, blah. Good to know attorneys are involved, fantastic. Got that going on right there. This is the, uh, well, I'm gonna skip this one here. This is, uh, this goes on here. I don't wanna get you into that one here. Um, this is from November 10th, and then there's another one here from October. And then there's, so November, October, and then I'm um, just a lot more, blah, 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 blah. Take it apart, take it apart. The first uh, actual one here, just to show you the persistence of it here, is this one where it says the, uh, for the third, for the third month, I am writing to officially request a public hearing for the conditional use, the revocation of the conditional use of 7524 Old Richmond Road for lack of compliance. They want this conditional use removed for this. What happens if you remove a conditional use? The guy can't operate his business there. Well, the guy hasn't operated his business there since 2006. He's got a looty greenhouse. It can handle like 80 mile per hour winds. 
It can handle the 17 pounds per square foot of uh, snow. It's a beefy, burly greenhouse, and they want the conditional use revoked, and they want it revoked now. All right, folks. I don't smoke cigarettes. You shouldn't smoke cigarettes. Kids, don't smoke cigarettes. Cigarettes are bad. Dad, please quit smoking cigarettes. I want you to live forever. And anybody else who smokes cigarettes, you should stop smoking cigarettes. That being said, after reading all that, my chest is racing and I feel like I need a cigarette, okay? Do me a favor, folks. Drop me a comment on what you would do if you were handed this mess. And now that you've read all this stuff, there is some valuable information there that is actually helpful to Dustin. Drop me a comment on what you think about this greenhouse mess and what you would do if you were me. I love you. More fish tank stuff coming soon. Tank on.